came back. Welcome back. I'm so glad. My last shooting for this with this look. Um, because it's getting pretty late. I'm tired. <laughs> My eyes are tired. Um, and it's time for me to go to bed. My son is luckily sleeping with dad, so that's why I have time and that's why I have to knock everything out in a day <laughs> or whenever I do get the chance because the Lord knows. So today, like I promised, we will do Erickson's psychosexual stages, first year of life which he labels trust and mistrust. So if parents provide basic physical and emotional needs, child will develop a sense of trust towards the world and others. If basic needs aren't met, an attitude of mistrust is developed. I believe that is self-explanatory. I don't wanna like try to get too deep and get anyone confused, but it's pretty much self-explanatory. Age one through three, calls this autonomy versus shame and doubt. A child needs to explore and experiment. I, I. 100% vouch for this like absolutely things such as allowing your kids to get messy like they're one two and three year olds let them not break and burn down the house but let them throw water here and there I let my son do that I give him his space to have you know with his toys his bottle his water his sippy cup let them make a little mess let them clean up um let them eat with their hands and get a little messy you know a child needs to explore and experiment make mistakes and test limits. If parents hamper or interfere, it can hinder on the child's ability to deal with the world successfully. I can't even reiterate, like, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, that's all I gotta say, yes. Um, ages three to six, preschool, he calls this the initiative versus guilt. I feel like tongue twist, it's like, <laughs> a child is given freedom to select personal, meaningful activities they find to develop a positive view of self. If they're not allowed to make their own decisions, they tend to develop guilt over taking initiative and they allow others to make decisions for themselves. <sighs> there are certain one of these that I really do want to, like like this one I do want to dive deeper into it. Um, I kind of feel like I fell into this category um, when it came to like my parents. Um, the whole thing of I'm your parent and I said so like they, what they said is what goes I had no choice in certain things in life in my early childhood so it's like I see where that followed through in my adulthood but let me know if you guys want me to dive deeper into it I'll do a separate video on that alone so it won't be like a whole 10-15 minute video but it'll just specify and dive deeper in just that one subject school age he called this the industry versus infer inferiority. I told you these words be killing me. Industry versus inferiority. Child needs to set and, and attain personality goals. Failure to do so results in self of inadequacy. The next stage, the school age, which is 12 to 18, he called this identity versus role confusion. A time of transition between childhood and adulthood, breaking dependent ties and establishing identity. Failure to do so results in a role confusion. So what they mean by independent breaking independent ties is pretty much ties with your parents. Um, at one point, you are dependent on your parents to provide for you and everything. So when you're transitioning into you know early adulthood, you need to gain that independence and break that tie from your parents. Is what I'm saying. I'm not saying break ties from your parents cold turkey, full blood, you don't talk to them, you don't check in on them, just as far as being independent and an adult, thinking and working and providing for yourself. Young adulthood, which is ages 18 through 35, intimacy versus isolation. Forming intimate relationships and failure to do so can lead you into alienation or isolation. So pretty much high school-ish age and up, you should start developing those more intimate relationships, having your first like real relationship with a girlfriend and learning how to deal with that. Failure to have those experiences and relationships around that age, the longer it takes, the more you withdraw yourself from society or the social norms um, and dating. It makes it hard to develop those relationships. And once you find it hard to do so, you just, you tend to isolate yourself middle age which is 35 up to 60 um he calls it the generativity versus stagnation 
the need to go beyond self and family and be involved in helping the next generation. Adjusting between one's dreams and one's actual accomplishments. Failure to achieve a sense of productivity can lead to psychological stagnation. So pretty much around those stages in life, um, it's kind of where like a midlife crisis takes place. Um, usually parents, if you, you know, ages 35 to 60, you're most likely a parent around that, by that age. Um, once your children become more independent, you feel less wanted or needed, and then you feel the need to provide for the next generation. And if you can't, you'll feel unworthy or as if you haven't accomplished anything, and that can lead to stagnation. Just plain old doing nothing, no goals, no nothing. And lastly, this is the later ages, which is 60 and up. Um, he calls this the, the integrity versus despair stage. Looking back at life with few regrets and feels worthwhile results in ego integrity within yourself. Um, you, you feel as if you can look back in life and you enjoyed life. You lived YOLO, <laughs> you know, and you have um, no regrets. Did I say that already? <laughs> you feel accomplished, almost pretty much the opposite of the last stage which was stagnation and stuff um so this is the positive end of it despair takes place when one feels hopeless guilty and resentment and self-rejection if one feels at this point in life 60 and up regret not taking advantage of things in life or accomplishments or they don't feel like they've done anything in life they haven't yoloed you know um and now not that life's over but it's like okay, now I'm 60 and your options are kind of limited. So you feel less worthy. I really hope these things make sense. So like I said before, if there's any of these that you guys would like me to go back to and cover, I'll definitely do so. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you do what? Like, like this video, please. Thank you. Um, so I can know if I'm doing great or not. If you don't like it, you can tell me as well. Let me definitely let me know my flaws, what I need to work on, my lighting, my makeup, my hair, my speech, my enunciation, um, presentation, background, setup, kind of just like chill vibes. Like I didn't really set up anything. It's just here. Um, but if you want to see a different scenery, definitely during the summertime, I will try to do that more. I like to do like outdoors, um, outdoorsy things or what have you. Um, I'm here for the negative and positive criticism. Um, so like, make sure you comment down below, talk to me, let me know what's going on, what you feel, what you think, good, bad, nah. Um, subscribe, definitely. If you're turning back, make sure you're just, just subscribe, you know, and you can click on the bell button, you'll get a notification, therefore you will never forget. And definitely, don't hesitate to share. This can help someone in their life, this can save someone's life. I, I would love to know I saved somebody's life, you know. Um, but as long as somebody's enjoying this video... It makes me happy. I enjoy making them. So thank you for joining. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.